and welcome back to the no pixel 4.0 public server so in the last episode we of course did quite a bit of hunting and quite a bit of messing around with our apartment trying to figure out different things and i think we we'll hopefully figure them out a little bit more today but uh the day after or the day on the last upload i did also do a stream we did hunting we made around i think 10 11 thousand dollars uh last night off camera we also did a bunch more hunting and if we look into our bank account we're now at a clean twenty thousand dollars so actually a decent amount for once and i have quite a couple of ideas of what to do with this money first of all i think i know what i need to do with the washing machine uh there was one part at the laundromat that we didn't buy and it was quite expensive so i'm hoping that part will complete our washing process because if I go over to our crate here, we have quite a bit of rolled cash as well as this Merc Group 6 cash we found on the ground a couple days ago. But this rolled cash, um, for some reason, while we were hunting, we found these bottles and we were able to kind of look at them and go to an address, sell them and get some rolled cash for it on stream the other day. I'll show you that real quick now. All right, let me do view address. Okay. It's actually right here. Head over to that. All right, give me a second. Let's put it there. Knock on the door and see some money slide out from under it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we got 89 rolled cash. But we're going to need a way to be able to clean this rolled cash. Um, also, back to the computer desk. Um, I've tried this like 20 different ways from every single angle. And you just cannot place the computer desk in the apartments. It just says cannot place this furniture here. I've tried over and over again to try and get it to work. Um, I even looked on the editor. If we go over here and we just look up like computer, there is no computer desk that we can place in our apartment. Um, I believe if we actually close out of this and we scroll down to uh where is it there's one thing that says like usable is it utility yeah functional furniture so there's security panels which we already have there's spawn point which is of course our character there's the basic crafting bench and this is what i think the other thing we're going to do today is uh but there is no computer desk so that leads me to believe that there might not be a way to do it but again i'm not too sure uh, I've looked over every single like electronics thing trying to find how to place it or anything like that again if we open up like PCs there's no like singular like the desk one that we need that requires the desk and the item material slot uh, if we go into laptops I believe there's none of these that actually require you to have the full PC setup so I really think that we are going to need to get an actual uh what is it called an actual house to be able to place that down unfortunately so that might be something we have to look into for the future for this computer desk thing really sucks because we did spend quite a bit of money on it but we'll leave that for the future uh for now before we uh go and try to get the last part of the laundry things hopefully we can start laundering money uh if we go over to our property settings this finally updated and now we can see we have quite a bit more power because of two these two things here we also now have some cooling actually 26 cooling as well as five ventilation from the uh ac units on this side of the house so so uh, hopefully everything's going to be working well, but let's head over to the laundromat and pick up the last couple things we need. All right, so this should hopefully be the last thing we need to purchase from this place for quite a while. So if we go over here, purchase goods, there's this thing called a laundry basket. I think this is the last thing we need, hopefully for it. Hopefully it's not just a cosmetic thing, but we're going to pay actually we're also going to grab an extra cleaning supplies and clothing just so we have it i'm not sure if we actually need that but now we have it and i'm hoping that it works well but let's quickly head back to the apartment and hopefully hopefully this will work so let's try and place this down so if we look up laundry cleaning and stores laundry basket perfect i believe this is what we need so let's try and put it right next to the good old laundry machine 
and i guess hope this works so let me get this figured out real quick all right i think that's probably probably as good as we're gonna get it pretty much lined up right next to it so let's hit shopping list build save and oh i can already see we can do something with it is this finally it okay uh open basket no linked machines okay so maybe we have to link it to this one so control panel i'm guessing yeah machine one basket one now can we use this no okay wait why is it not linked oh i had to hit save okay so that to that save and now so we have to put it in through here okay let's see let's go grab some of this marked group six cash to test it out with we go over here open basket put this oh, i can't put that in um let's try the rolled cash does that work it does okay is it gonna clean it come on do something um 198 and i have not seen that number change hmm back to the control panel is there linked up basket one to machine one i don't think there's anything we can do with the laundry basket itself still 198 we can't put that in there um hmm let's wait on this for a little bit and see if anything happens maybe it just takes a little bit of time all right so it's been about five or ten minutes or so and if we have a look none of it has been cleaned yet so i'm not sure if we have something wrong with this or if it just takes a lot more time than i thought but it is definitely it's linked up and everything i don't know if doing this does anything but it's definitely linked up so i'm not sure what's going on with it there's nothing we can do with the actual dishwasher it's or uh washing machine itself so i am not too sure um we also can't wash the group six stuff with it which i'm guessing we might need that like turbo or whatever it's called washing machine for that possibly but yeah this stuff is just not washing and i don't think is there anything else we can put in here no no um okay so i guess we just leave that in there and hopefully it works over time or something like that i'm not exactly sure how this thing does work but our next thing that i wanted to get today just checking one more time is going to be a workbench um i don't know exactly what you can make on the workbench but it's one of the only things that we're actually able to get and put in our apartment so let me uh let me design it first like where i want it to be real quick all right so there we go pretty nice spot for it um if we end up somehow being able to place that computer desk i'll probably just move the workbench over to this side and it'll be fine but uh again no way to place the freaking pc place yet but uh we're gonna save this real quick place hit save and now we gotta go buy ourselves a workbench if i, if I remember correctly it's all the way up at utool now i did have one other thing that i really wanted to check out let's uh grab some more food and drink that we bought a little earlier today as well and that is going to be uh some of the stuff with the rep so with the tablets you're able to see your rep with a bunch of different people and one of those people is a fence so i want to see uh if we can head over to the fence see what he possibly buys or sells and i guess go along from there i don't know if the fence is just a pawn shop or what but uh we're gonna have to figure that out i actually don't have a tablet at the moment so we're gonna go pick one of those up real quick as well and check that out first before we buy the workbench so uh let's head over there real fast let me check when we're there all right over at our first stop of this short little shopping trip let's uh talk to this guy and we should be able to buy again a pixel tablet let's buy one of those real quick 
yeah nothing else that we need to buy from here at the moment so let's pay the baking card and have a quick check while we're here so let's use it open it up and i believe if we go over to contacts and we scroll down there's a guy called the fence and i don't know if this is just the pawn shop or what but let's see let's set the mark there and oh no it's not okay let's go see what this is real quick very curious about this should be just down this alleyway what it looks like there's someone over here it says he's right here i believe is there anything over here for us to do there's someone hiding hmm let's try setting that marker again and see we're getting contacts fence set mark yeah it didn't even give me a mark because we we're literally there oh wait is it this door no maybe it's the building itself no huh my only thought at the moment is maybe he's only here at night just double check he's not like behind this wall or anything we'll check a little bit around the area hmm maybe we come back during the night time maybe he shows up then that might be the way it is it might only show up during the night time at least that's my guess uh also i haven't really looked too much at the wrap is there any other ones that we should check out so mosley's lumberjack group six trucking sanitation towing senior buns utility worker uh utility worker i don't know what that is uh farmer ems icu medical hunter also we haven't gained any rep with the hunter guy and we've done a lot of hunting so i'm not sure if it's broken or you just can't gain rep with him uh news and fence okay what is the utility worker is that one of the jobs that we've seen before no it's not uh you know what let's go test out a new job we'll see what this utility worker thing is well we're uh, heading up there anyways because we gotta head up to u-tool to buy that workbench so might as well check this out on the way see what it's used for see if it's just a job that you get paid for or maybe something a little different where we can get some items or such uh no idea but let's head up there and check it out all right so let's see what this utility guy is all about let's talk to him all right uh ah an eager mind you're about to embark on a journey to become a power savvy homeowner don't have a home but okay uh notice that fuse block beside us it's a more than just a box it's your initial challenge tackle it unveil its secrets improve your expertise this step is your gateway to truly understanding your home's power succeed and you'll earn not only my respect but also gain access to in invaluable tools and knowledge essential for any homeowner well maybe maybe this will allow us to fix our uh laundry basket problem so research technology you don't have any materials to research with Huh, I'm wondering if those circuit boards that we got a little while ago we can use for this. Oh, uh, maybe. Let's head over to U-Tool, see if there's anything that maybe relates to this as well. I mean, we gotta head there anyways for the crafting table. Uh, if not, I do want to grab some circuit boards possibly from our house and see if that's maybe what we need for this. Either way, let's head up to U-Tool and uh check out that workbench as well if he sells anything else that may help us with this electrical stuff Alrighty, pulling on up to u-tool it is getting a little bit later as well so maybe we can check out the fence place soon too so let's go to purchase goods a small electrical device large electrical device some lamps and lights a bunch of building stuff and this right here the basic crafting bench um i didn't see a crafting bench and something that we could place in our home or in our apartment and i don't want to make the same mistake that we made of course with the pc thing and get something that we can't use at our apartment so we're not going to even look at this yet till we have an actual house hopefully we're going to get an actual house at some point in this series uh garden center anything in here bags nothing 
so let's buy this a uh, basic crafting bench for ten thousand eight hundred dollars good old eight hundred dollars tax there there it is uh used to craft basic items in any interior you own okay so let's head back to the house we are actually we have a pretty good plan i think what we're gonna do is head to the house get this crafting table set up see what we can make at it by then it hopefully it should be nighttime what time is it right now 7 30 it should be nighttime and we can head back over to the fence guy see if he's there uh after that we'll also grab our circuit boards from the apartment come back up here and see if that's what we need to upgrade our electrical knowledge or whatever you want to call it i guess we'll figure out what it's even used for or if it's even useful since we don't even own a house yet no idea but maybe it will help us to set up our uh, washing machine better no idea but uh, either way i'll meet you guys once we're back at the apartment getting this workbench set up and figuring it out and back at the apartment let's have a quick look yeah, none of this has been cleaned yet still uh do we still have those circuit boards i think they were in here yes we do we have 27 of them i'm not sure if that's much or if that's gonna really do anything but i guess we'll see but let's go into our editor we now should be able to go to the shopping list and build this let's see what we can do with it oh boy wait why can't we do anything with it Wait, I thought I saw something. Oh, there we go. Okay, scared me for a second there. So we have an inventory. Holds 120 kilograms. Not bad. But here's the big part. What can we craft? Okay. Uh, personal. Items that you can customize. Oh, we can customize our hunting rifle. Or our knife. No idea. Uh, crafting. Here is, this is what we needed to see. List of items that you can craft. We have nothing. Um, idea, idea. What happens if we grab these blueprints and we put them? Does that have to be in the inventory? Oh wait, no, right there. I just saw it. I just saw it. Blueprints. Uh, material box, wood materials. Okay, so let's put these blueprints in here, like so and now do we have stuff that we can craft under crafting yes we can okay so we can make brake parts for repair we can make transmission parts we can make the fuel injectors and now this advanced fingerprint device which i'm not sure what it is used for but sweet now we can actually craft stuff of the blueprints we get so we actually have a use for blueprints which is huge Wow, this is actually crazy. So now all the blueprints that we find on the ground, we need to make sure we're grabbing all of them. Um, I'm not sure if these advanced fingerprint devices, what they're for. It says Humane ID, Humane Labs and Research. So maybe it's something at Humane Labs. We're gonna have to go investigate that. Or maybe we can, I don't think you can like hack into ATMs or anything here, but it's not super hard to make if we did some trash runs as well uh let's head over to first of all the electrical place well, actually first of all it should be nighttime uh let's check out what the time is yeah it is nighttime as we can see outside as well so we're gonna check out the fence and then head over to humane labs and see if there's a spot where maybe we can put this in and then maybe try and make one for the next episode i'm not too sure either way though, let's head back over to the area where the fence was and uh see if there's anything that we can do with him or if he's even there at this point Let's go have a quick look all right so we're pulling up is there gonna be someone here now that's the question hmm still doesn't look like it but it is nighttime so i'm wondering if we're possibly glitched and just can't see him that could be the case as well as always possible. Can we fit through here? No. Um, I'm thinking, let me just check the store again. Cause it is nighttime. Nothing. Again, it says that he's right here. Hmm. 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 Not on the other side of this wall. Um, 
Alright, we're gonna wait for one second and see again where exactly the marker is. So one back, fence, one come. Alright, exactly, we're in the corner right there. Have a look. Pretty sure we were exactly there. Should be right here at this dumpster. But I do not see a mirror. Behind the dumpster? No. Behind here? No. What is this? Open stash. Okay, I think you can just put random stuff in dumpsters. So I don't think there's anything actually here. Yeah, no. Ah, uh, we might do a quick relog. See if possibly it's just scuff for us. Give me one second, real quick. Alrighty, so I relogged and. He is still not here. So yeah, I have no idea how this works. Is it like a door or something? Is there something that we're missing here? Is there something that we're missing? That is the question. Mm, I have no idea. Definitely like nighttime, but he's still just not here. What's that? Three low quality planks. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm kind of lost. It says he's right here, but whenever I try and uh, find him here, he's not. And we checked at night, which is when I thought maybe he only came out at night or something, but nope. So I'm lost. I got no idea on the fence thing, but we're going to keep going along with our plan and head up to the electronics guy. And I guess to see if uh, we're able to use these circuit boards. There was the only thing that we had from trash runs. It seems like it could possibly be used for it. I'm not sure. This might be a huge waste of time heading all the way up here, but either way, let's head back up to the electronics guy and test this out. And back at the electronics guy. Hopefully he works at night, as a lot of the jobs don't. Kinda suck if he didn't, but okay, talk to him, perfect. We don't have to do anything there. Let's see. Okay, we have 27 circuit boards on us. Can we do anything now? Oh! Okay. What is this gonna do? Again, we had 27 on. Oh sh okay, I didn't realize there was gonna be a skill check. Didn't use any, thankfully. Okay, now we know there's a skill check though for the next one. Oh, okay, it uses 10 of it. Okay, so let's not mess this up this time. Okay, let's try it. There we go. I'm guessing there's gonna be more. No, okay. Okay. So what just happened? We did it successfully. Can we talk to him again now? No. I'm guessing we don't have enough to do it again, right? Yeah, you need at least 10 electronics to research. Anything else happen after we research that or is our rep now higher with him? Let's check. Electronics, utility worker, no. But sometimes I know this stuff takes a while to update. Or maybe we have to do it like multiple, multiple times. But we did it once. I'm guessing we still have zero rep with him. I'm guessing we gotta do it quite a lot more than that to actually get anything out of it unfortunately I messed up the first one and lost 10 of the plates but i might end up doing some trash off camera and then we can try this out again in the future now the other thing i wanted to check is of course humane labs as of course we saw on that card it said humane labs which again it could just be like it's, you know just to look cool on the card and for maybe uh, like a different job but I mean, it says Humane Labs on there, so Humane Labs is probably a good clue to try and check out to see if there is any spot where we can put a card in if we do end up getting the required materials for that card. So let's head over there, explore a little, and see if there's anything to be found. And finally, over at Humane Labs, let's see if there's actually anything here. Uh, we can park inside. Why not? This thing should open. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was worried there for a second. Is there anything that we can do in here? 
Let's see. Again, I, this could just be a complete waste of time. And again, that card just could just be like manufactured by them. Like Arpelian, that could be the reason for having their name on it. But again, once we check this once, then we know there's either something here for sure. Well, there's nothing here at all. Can't go in there. Yeah, I really don't think there's anything in here. Uh, I'm probably going to run on through real fast, see if there's anything possibly that I missed. If not, though, we'll head out of here real fast. Let me just do one last check. Alrighty, I went for everything, just double checking every single little spot and door in this whole place. And unfortunately, didn't find anything. I don't think this thing opens up, but yeah, didn't find anything at all. Unfortunate. Um, I did want to try and plant these seeds somewhere. Now, I do believe they take probably what I'm guessing is going to be like a day to fully grow. So we probably won't see what happens to it, but might be worth just planting to see how the process goes if we even can still plant these if they're not completely deteriorated i'm not sure if they are but let's go find a little spot try and plant these things and i guess see what happens all right so i found an area pretty much in the middle of nowhere obviously not going to show exactly where i am and let's see if we can use these weed clones okay so we can place them like so it looks like so let's Try placing one. Okay, planting seed. Okay. And now is that planted? No, we still have it in our inventory. So we have to plant it like a specific way? Or maybe we need to get those grow beds to be able to plant this stuff. That could be it as well. Yeah, we still have three of them. Or maybe the clones are used for something else? Um... Hmm... I mean, these are gonna expire tomorrow anyways, so we might as well try and plant them a couple times. Yeah, maybe it's because of the soil? No, we still have three of them. They're about to freaking go bad any second now. Huh. Maybe we go somewhere like the swamp or something and see if we're able to plant there. Let's test that out real fast. Probably none of this is going to work, but again, we, uh, we found these on the ground, so we don't really have any use for them anyways, and we didn't pay any money, so we're not losing anything if we're not able to plant them. So let's head over there and I guess have a little test to try and figure this out. All right, again, this possibly is not going to work at all, but figured we'd at least give it a try so let's use the weed clone try and place it down and nothing okay well it was worth a shot let's try on like the like actual mud uh oh uh oh i think it just went bad or did it not oh no let's try planting it again Did that work? Nope, still have three. Hmm. Wondering if we're just somehow not doing it the right way or I really think we might need one of those like planters that they, people were selling, but I don't think we can fit one of those in our house, unfortunately. Yeah, so I think these things are going to go bad, unfortunately. But honestly, it is what it is. It sucks that they're going to go bad, but we have no way to utilize them at the moment as we can't put a planter into our house or anything or a trough or anything like that. But at least we tried it out. But I think that's going to be about it for that try. I think we're just going to give up probably on trying to get to the clone seeds to actually work. Because I got no idea on how that whole process works. Or even if we did get it, I don't know how to sell it. Etc. Etc. I mean, I guess you can probably sell the locals, but no idea for sure. Uh, but we are gonna head back to the apartment real quick and see if our money cleaner is actually working or what's going on with it. Hopefully by now, again, it's been probably about a half hour and probably even more 
probably an hour at this point uh we'll see for sure now if it's actually working because i would have guessed at least one would have been cleaned by this part by this time so let's head on back to the apartment and check if our laundry machine is actually doing anything all right so finally back at the apartment let's check if this thing's been working nope i don't know why i thought it would possibly be working of course it's not again i don't think there's anything else we can do control panel they are connected i'm not sure why this one's yellow or if that means anything but they're definitely connected and everything and that's just not not giving us the thing um maybe it's something like this where like the server had to restart for a lot of this stuff to actually update so maybe it's that and maybe the next episode we're gonna see how this is cleaned and if it's actually working and such but i think that's unfortunately not gonna be shown today but i think that's gonna be about it for this video we finally got a workbench in here we figured out the money cleaning a little bit more we figured out that electronics guy honestly overall we made some amazing progress today so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video um i do have some more plans for some other stuff i uh, am honestly today at this point we're not looking horrible at money 6k i mean it's nothing crazy but it's better than where we're usually at at the end of these videos but i'm gonna grind a little bit more off camera probably get more of those circuit boards as well so we can keep leveling up our electronic skill and maybe maybe that's what we're missing from this but i have no idea it does say it's for housing so i'm not sure if that applies to apartments or what but either way i think that's gonna be about it for this video if you guys did enjoy as always make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video